Thank you, Ben. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I have a pet question that I like to ask. How long was it between when you first heard about Toastmasters and when you went to your first meeting? You can put your answer in the Zoom chat or shout it out to, I think Lois is Zoom, might be Zoom Master Tech Chair today. Was it two months, three years? One week. One week, oh, excellent. 20 years, okay, good. I'm not alone. I see a couple months, multiple years, two days, wide range. Good. I'm not alone because it took me over 10 years to get my butt into a meeting. And it was a shame that I waited that long because it turns out all I needed to know, I learned in Toastmasters. And I'll share three of those lessons today. Lesson one, all skills are a muscle you can exercise. Lesson two, if you can run a Toastmasters meeting, you can run anything. And lesson three, you can learn anytime from anyone. So lesson one, all skills are muscle you can exercise. You might've noticed in our agenda that table topics are a section for impromptu speaking. The format is the table topics mass provides a prompt or a question, you speak on it for one to two minutes. And while table topics was one of the things that sold me on Toastmasters, after three months, it still scared the heck out of me. Yes, for three months straight, I didn't have the nerve to raise my hand for table topics. But why do Toastmasters if I wasn't going to make any changes? So I decided to do a table topic at every meeting I attended. And at first, it was not pretty. I made fellow members suffer through many rambly, incomplete sentences. And sometimes I still do. But after a while, outside of Toastmasters, I noticed a change in making small talk, collaborations at work, thinking of something funny to say at a dinner or a meeting. It was as if repeatedly drawing something relevant out of my brain for a table topic made it easier to draw information from my head in other situations. In times where I used to draw a blank, I'd remember, oh yeah, my friend Steve went camping this weekend. Let me ask about that. Basically, I had experienced what's called an open mindset from the book Mindset by psychologist Carol Dweck, a person with a fixed mindset tends to believe people have to be born with certain skills. They might think, I just can't think on my feet. But people with open mindsets see mistakes and areas for improvement as well areas for improvement. They think, well, that went pretty terribly, but what could I do differently next time? And it turns out that thinking on our feet being more funny, and really all skills we thought were unchangeable are muscles that we can exercise. Lesson two, if you can run a Toastmasters meeting, you can run anything. Let's take a look at this agenda. This agenda also sold me on Toastmasters. In those 10 plus years, I assumed Toastmaster, Toastmasters was people standing up, giving speeches, people clapping, people sitting back down, I mean, okay, we also do a lot of that, but an average one hour Toastmasters meeting actually only has 10 to 14 minutes of fully prepared content. The rest is introductions, table topics, evaluations, and functionary reports. Let me start with the functionaries. The all counter also scared the heck out of me, especially after the 37 ums and ahs someone once counted from me. But it was clear that from hitting timing to removing extraneous words, to broadening our vocabulary, to speech evaluators who give us immediate feedback, that these roles turn a Toastmasters meeting into a multi-skill improvement workshop. I also saw that a Toastmasters meeting is designed to give any member a chance to practice speaking, even when they're not a prepared speaker, even if they're completely new to public speaking. You can start as an all counter or timer or recorder because the roles have guardrails. You give an intro, you have something you're watching for, and you give a report. But there's also room for creativity. Notice a piece of advice you could give during your report. You can do that. Want to work on your gestures? You can do that. Lastly, a Toastmasters meeting is also designed to have members take turns at leading the effort. When you're the weekly Toastmaster, like Jasmine, you're responsible for making sure people show up and crafting and running a meeting that's welcoming and fun. A Toastmasters meeting is a mini production and team effort, but it's also a safe space to learn and experiment. 
did we forget to do guest introductions again? It's okay, how can we fix it next week? In fact, we have a general evaluator who will tell us what we did well and how we can improve. I eventually realized that I could also carry this into real life, giving junior team members opportunities to present by providing guardrails, but also room for creativity. I now have a sixth sense of the optimal time to send nagging reminder emails. And from being a table topics master, I've become almost like a go-to panel moderator at work events for my team. So from organizing to leadership to creativity and applying these skills in real life, if you can run a Toastmasters meeting, you can run anything. And finally, lesson three, be ready to learn anytime from anyone. In addition to public speaking skills, Toastmasters also promises leadership skills. And honestly, I was extremely dubious about the leadership part. To be fair, the marketing could stand to have some modernization. This very nice man in a three-piece suit really wasn't speaking to me as a woman in Silicon Valley. But I regret to say that like the 10 years I'd spent assuming I knew what Toastmasters was about, I had misjudged a book by its cover. Here at Mountain View Toastmasters, visiting other clubs and going to Toastmasters conferences, I always meet talented advanced Toastmasters who have sharp advice, smart suggestions, interesting life experiences. And I noticed all these people had something in common. They'd all been club officers. You might notice our club officers listed on the back of the agenda and they help the club run the meetings, strategy and club programs, membership, member progress, public relations, budget, and record keeping. And initially I was just here to stop crashing and burning during my job interviews. So when someone asked if I would run to be club secretary, I was hesitant. But then I thought, they think I can do a good job. Maybe there's something to this officer thing. And I said, yes. And just like a Toastmasters meeting, officership has guardrails, room for creativity, and a safe space to practice being a decision maker. And now I wasn't surprised to learn from my club elders, but I was unexpectedly learning from the ideas and observations from brand new members. They tell us in officers training to recruit newer members as officers, not to trick them into extra work, but for their energy and fresh perspectives. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I still judge a book by its cover at first. What can a retirement age looking Toastmaster tell me, a UX designer about formatting a speech script? How can idea from a new member cover the complexities of our record keeping needs? But when we remember that we can learn anytime from anyone, we're able to step back and think, okay, was that a wild idea? Or is that a wildly good idea? Turns out a UX designer can learn a lot from non-designers. And it turns out we can rethink what complexities we need to navigate and which ones we don't. In fact, even before you become a member, we ask you guests to give speech feedback and meeting feedback. In the room, you all will have little paper slips to fill out for speech feedback. And we'll send remote folks an online link later on. And we're gonna ask you what you think about our meeting at the end. Because at any given time, Everyone has something valid to contribute. So keep your mind open for learning something new because it can happen anytime and come from anyone. So to sum up today's lessons, all skills are a muscle you can exercise. And if you can run a Toastmasters meeting, you can run anything. And lastly, be ready to learn anytime from anyone. In closing, let me congratulate you on making it to a Toastmasters meeting, but please don't wait 10 plus years to join Toastmasters because I hope that you will also find that all you needed to know is in the Toastmasters experience. Oh, and if you wanna learn more than just these three lessons, you'll want to join Mountain View Toastmasters. Thanks with that, back to you, Madam Toastmaster.